Hey, welcome back to the Water Zones vlog. It's Innie here. Hope you're all doing really well. So today my kind of recommendations are based around a theme and that theme is about a book release that's coming out in September. So The Handmaid's Tale sequel, The Testaments, is coming out on September the 10th. And as a company, we're very excited about it. But my shop specifically is super stoked about it. We've been raving about The Handmaid's Tale for ages and we're really excited to see the sequel. So kind of in honour of that and wanting to do something special for the occasion. For the past 12 weeks, every week we've been reading a feminist dystopian, which we're all then going to discuss at the pub, because where else are you going to discuss feminist dystopians? And I thought I'd share three of my favourite ones from that list. So the three I'm going to talk about today are these three. So you've got The Farm by Joanne Ramos, When She Woke by Henry Jordan, and The Car Hull and Army by Sarah Hall. So they're very different in style. Um, one of them's a YA, one of them's very atmospheric, and one's very realistic. So it's quite interesting to see how they all deal with the same theme of the female body, which is a very important topic at the moment with a lot of what's going on in the world. It's really interesting to see how realistic some of these have become. So the first one I want to talk about, talk about today is The Car Holland Army by Sarah Hall. So this one is set in the Lake District, where a woman named Sister, as we're not given her real name, is running away from an oppressive regime and an oppressive marriage to this group of women called the Carhallen Women who are almost fabled in her eyes. She's idolised them since she was a child reading about them in newspapers and she sets off on this journey to find them and when she finds them she's a bit unsure whether she's really agreeing with everything they're saying and everything they want to do. So she's trying to find her place in this other society after escaping a society that didn't value her. So it's a really powerful read because of the way Sarah Hall has a combination of very strong characterisation and very beautiful atmosphere. So the two of them bring together this kind of immersive style that throws you into this story where you really root for Sister and under try to understand her whilst seeing this world that you know around you. It's quite a weird feeling but it's absolutely wonderful and I'd really recommend it. So the next book I'm going to talk about is the YA one, which is When She Woke by Hilary Jordan. So in this one, our main protagonist, Hannah, has been accused of murder because she had an abortion of a child, which she will not name the father of. So as her punishment, her skin is dyed red and she's kept in a cell for a number of weeks where she is videoed 24 seven for the public to see. And when she's released back into the real world, you're shamed for having this red skin because everyone knows that's what you've done and she's trying to find a way of having a life again with the help of her father and of her pastor whilst trying to understand everything that's led up to this point and trying to live in this world that's really against her. So it reads really well and has a lot of themes in it of coming of age, of power, of rebellion, of the woman body like it's just really wonderful and the ideas behind the way the punishment and the world works is really clever so I'd really recommend this one it's kind of like a Ray Bradbury mix with Margaret Atwood it's really good so the final one I want to talk about is also I think the most latest release out of the lot which is The Farm by Joanne Ramos and it's also the one that seems to be set closest to today like I'm sure this could be happening in America right now kind of thing it's just crazy um but it's also the least strong about the feminist side to it all like she covers a lot of other topics such as race and immigration and power generally so it's really interesting to read in that side as well so the story focuses on a character called Jane who runs out of money is struggling as an immigrant in America she's trying to look for a chance when her aunt recommends this place called Golden Oaks where you get paid a ridiculous amount of money to be the perfect birthing woman. So you become impregnated and then you have to carry the baby to term and then give it away to this rich family. So Jane goes into this thinking it'll be absolutely fine, it'll be a lovely kind of spent time, she gets shown around the whole place, but she quickly realises not everything is as it seems and she's lost a lot of power. So it's a really interesting read because it's about how much do you own your body? and how much are you willing to give up to get the money kind of thing. It's really interesting and it's, the mix of the other themes really adds to it as well and the fact that it feels very much of the now time just 
really adds to kind of the horror of it all. So it's really interesting to read and all three are brilliant reads. I'd really recommend all three, especially if you love anything like The Handmaid's Tale. And don't forget to get the Testaments when it comes out because I'm sure it's going to be fantastic.